First of all, there were no blue M&M's backstage, so I'm leaving. Oh, shit. Manitoba has spoken. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the world's greatest entertainer, Woo! Handsome Dick, Dick Manitoba. Manitoba. Now, when I was about 15 years older, so my pal Scott Kempner from the Del Lords, known as Top Ten for the Dictators, said we're going downtown to my friend Ira Robbins' house. Whoa. And we were hanging out, and this guy was the biggest fucking home fanatic in the world. And I got to meet Ira, and I hung out with guys like Ira and Scott. Dave Schultz, I believe, was yes, around indeed. at the time. Yes, is Dave here now? Yes, And so is Scott. Schultz? No. Where's Schultz here? Stop fucking making fun of me on Facebook. Because pay payback's a bitch, you asshole. Hey, he's a Jew. All right, we'll let him slide. He was born mitzvah. Anyway, Ira and I became friends. If I knew how to read, I would have read Trouser Press. But since I can't read too well, I still love the man and thank the man for his passion. I love the man's music. Rock and roll history. Let's hear it from my man, Ira Robbins. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Let's introduce these lovely people. S I C. <laughs> Spelling incorrect? F asterisk. C K S. Well done. <laughs> What's that spell? Sick Fox! They are Joe and the Sick Fox. A great rock and roll band, best Daddy. known for Spanish bar mitzvah. <laughs> Best known for what's one of the other hits? <laughs> no. Thank you, good night. Teenage abortion. And my personal favorite, being the sick Jew that I am, chop up your mother. Without further ado, let's hear it loud and proud. <laughs> 